วัสดีครับ Welcome to another episode นะครับ of CK Off the Road In this episode, I want to focus on hard decisions. You know, we all make hard decisions in life. We get the opportunity to talk to Mike, who is the owner of Asok Pie Shop. And his background is a mechanical engineer in Imperial College in London. And then he turned his profession completely upside down into opening up a restaurant of his own, wow. working in New York, and suddenly have to come to Thailand. These are hard choices. What gave them the courage to make those choices? And what were the dilemma? And what did they give up? These are the stuff that I want to focus on. Hopefully, you guys get value from this and. I'm very excited to talk to Mike. I think the content should be pretty good. Stay tuned. I'm here with Good Mike, and uh, it's been a pleasure. I, I walk into the pleasure. restaurant. You know, it's very, very hippie, cool restaurant. Counter like like counter style. You can see that the chef is doing. I think it's very, very cool. We would like to want to know more about you, and you know, why why this restaurant, and what what was your background? My background is actually in mechanical engineering. I graduated in uh, Imperial College in 2014, okay. and then I went to do like a bunch of other things: skiing, entrepreneurial, leadership, engineering jobs. Yeah. But I know it's not really for me. You could see guys who would be in the computer lab; they're happy to do it. And then when I see that, and then I know, I know immediately. Maybe it's not for me because there's so much better people like who are supposed to be doing it rather than me. So I should. Find something else, and then I just kind of felt like I was in no man's land. You know, I wanted to do something that I really had a passion in. So you know, I kind of just settled on cooking. You know, I just remember at a really young age I had a passion for cooking, but that was kind of like squashed down by my parents. Like, oh, you do cooking? Okay, take a couple of classes, and then you'll be done. That that's it. That's all you get. You know. So what inspired you to cook? There has to be a trigger. You know, Chef Don Kiswa, yeah, yeah. the same was the yep, most yep. famous chef in Thailand. Yep, yep, right? yep, yep, yep. He went to this school called the Culinary Institute of America. Yep. So I thought, okay, maybe if I go there, then maybe I'll come out competent and ready to join the industry, like how he did. Or I thought I could just connect the dots from then and just just be a chef. Wow. Yeah. So and my mom was against it. No, of course. I mean, she was that was awesome. against it. What were your strategy to convince her? And I just gave her a call. I was saying, "Mama, I want to go to this cooking school." She's like, "Why are you doing this again? Why are you just gonna drop out and you just you know yeah. you just doing this for fun? Are right? you like yeah. you know? Because cooking in my parents' mind, you know, it's not like you're not gonna be a doctor, a banker. Yeah. So she's just like, okay, whatever. Like, okay, go, go ahead. You know, do it. Yeah." To that school, went out work for six months. The school lasted. The curriculum lasted two years. Oh, so you were in school for two years. For two years, but after the first year, you have to do an externship. So I went to this restaurant called Benu. Wow, it's a three Michelin star restaurant in San Francisco. Uh huh. Getting in was it wasn't that hard because we were working for free. Ah. And after the two years, you went out and worked at a three Michelin star restaurant yeah. in New York. For a year, yeah. for one year, for and one this year. time you're, you're paid. Right, so yes, I'm paid. Okay. I'm so paid. after that one year, why do you think that coming back to town would be a good idea? Because you know every yeah. chef's dream is to I know. work at a Michelin star restaurant in New York, San Francisco. So why come back to town? I know. I, I don't have like a, a good answer for it. Like I had just to come back and just meet my my wife was waiting for me. Ah. So I kind of miss home, but I also regret the chance of not getting more experience. I wish yeah. I wish I had more time. By then I was about 28. Okay, still so young. Still, still young. But I wish I was about 18. Yes. yes you know yes, what yes, I mean. Yes, I know. What I you wish mean. I was about 18. Yes. Yes. So you came back. What's the first move to open up a restaurant or work at a restaurant? We we did delivery first. I did delivery out of my you know small kitchen uh, apartment. What kind of food were you selling? I, I was just doing whatever I learned. You know, I did <laughs> Swedish meatballs, fried chicken. I did whatever I wanted to. You know, it was yeah. quite I was quite flexible with it. We got in, like such good feedbacks yeah. from from the food. So I I thought okay, why not open a restaurant? You know, why not do it now? Yeah. During COVID. 
Yeah, that, that was between the first and the second wave where we decided to open the restaurant. What makes this restaurant different? We cooked with live fire. So as you can see, right, we have this pit where we ah, supply yeah. the pit with the mother, the mother wood, the mother coals from the fire, yep. from the wood fire oven. Yep, yep, yep. And that is quite romantic, right? Because yeah. you get really primal with the food. When you open up the restaurant, what kind of food? is this restaurant about? It's really uh, a combination of what I picked up abroad. Okay. After my one year in New York City, yep. I, I did a year in Europe. I was just like traveling around. So I took, I brought that back with me. send you a couple of small bites okay. just to let you know what we're really about just, you know, just, just a quick snapshot yes. of what the restaurant is really about let's do it all right let's, let's go do it. i need a truffle for guys it's not gonna look pretty on camp but it looks <laughs> <laughs> oh here we go It's hard for this not to be good because you took it fat. Fat on fat, fat on fat. Fat on fat on fat. On fat. <laughs> and a chef calls it the fattest flavor. You know? This is going to be amazing. Oh shit. Mmm. That's a sauce. Too much meat for it. No word I can describe. What's in the mouth? On a scale of 1 to 10. 15. 15! <laughs> uh, this is scallop with polo rosso blue blanc. Oh. One more. Okay, I'm okay. Say today, 2022, you have found your passion for sure. This is what you were born to do, and I, this is your purpose. I'm 100% dedicated okay. to this project, this passion, and I don't see why it should change. There is no looking back now. So many mistakes in the past, and I feel like I'm on the right track. Can you give the camera a little introduction of maybe introducing your restaurant? 30 second pitch. 30 second pitch. Uh, a mic. I'm the head chef and the owner of Asok Thai Shop Restaurant. So we cook with live fire and it's an a la carte based menu. And we concentrate on really, really good ingredients and really, really simple, simple techniques. It's really tasty, like the food can still be really tasty. You let the ingredients speak for themselves. And that's what I want to showcase. Wow. That's awesome. And for those, and for those at home, we're still lost. Just trust your gut. Try to go back to the time when you were like a little kid, right? When before all the preconceived notion, the parents or society is trying to force on you. Yep. Try to forget all that stuff and try to remember who you were and what your passion really is before you know all the weird influences yes. come to influence you, right? So that's and shut, trust your gut. Yeah. Basically you shut everyone out. Yeah. Listen to yourself. Listen, yeah, trust your gut, yeah. Awesome. It's been a pleasure, Mike. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you very thank much. Thanks for the chat, and hopefully, all the best for your business. Yeah. After hearing your yeah. story, after hearing everything that you said, I think it makes there's so much more connection I have now with the restaurant. I think what makes this restaurant special is not the ingredient, not not the style, but it's your story. You know, right. I think I think everything that you see around us right now is the cultivate of your life experience, right? right? Even the food, the menu, it's the, the, you're picking stuff that you like from all the restaurants that you've worked and 
you decided to come here, I mean, I'm sure when you're innovating the menu, when you were doing delivery, that had a part to do with where it asked, what kind of food you serve now. And hopefully this, this, this podcast can really let other people know as well how much you care and what your passion really is. And when you eat the food, they can really feel your life. It's been a pleasure. Thank, yes, you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you very much. much.